Hey everybody, this is Warner Weasel. Just wrapped up uh, Table Tilt Plus for Part 13. We are now moving on to Part 14 of our Wii Fit Training Plus playthrough as we come to the conclusion. Uh, this is going to be Balance Bubble Plus. Again, if it sounds familiar, uh, maybe you're just watching this for the first time. Balance Bubble. Uh, balance games were originally included on Wii Fit. They just copied them over. Uh, the new content for Wii Fit Plus is Training Plus. And of course, Table Tilt and Balance Bubble uh, were so successful and you know had such a following from the uh, original Wii Fit game, they were just simply carried over here. Uh, just like Table Tilt Plus being significantly more difficult, same thing for Balance Bubble Plus. Uh, there is only one option. I mean, there's no advanced or expert. It's just one and done. Uh, I have four started in the past. I don't expect to do that right off the bat because I haven't played in a very long time. Uh, in fact, how many times? 21 times I've played. Uh, it's two METs. All you need is a balance board. It will be the exact same mechanics as uh, Balance Bubble. Uh, balance Bubble Plus tests your lower body balance and agility. If some of you remember, uh, if you've watched the complete playthrough on Balance Bubble, I kept talking about, well, you know, surely Advanced has the current. Uh, it, it looks the same right here, but, you know, I kept mentioning the current, the current, the current, and saying, you know, make sure you lean forward at all times, you'll go backwards and pop your bubble well. It, I know it really looks basically the same, but I mean you can kind of see those lines and think they're the current and think I'm just repeating myself, but uh, in this one, if you don't lean forward at all times, particularly here, you'll get blown back. I'll show you here at the start. Uh, you can kind of hear it, but uh, I know the first time I played, I just kind of stood here like this. <laughs> And as you can see, I mean, it actually, it'll, that's not me leaning backwards, that's the uh, current coming into play. Uh, it has been a long time. I think there are more bees in this one. There's, an, there's a dark segment with, like, tiki torches. Uh, I think there's, like, a windmill water vein type deal right around this corner. Yeah. This one, obviously, I won't be going for a good score since I'm kind of just like showing you, but even here, uh, if you don't have a little bit of yourself leaning forward, the current will push you backwards, as you can see there. <laughs> Alright. Now this part, it gets dark, uh, so bear with me, you can only see a limited distance. I think the bees come towards the end, of course, which is where I have so much trouble with them. And again, I'm not going fast in this one, I'm just kind of trying to get you the basics and, you know, do it. So, Okay, so we're out of here. I'm going to go extremely slow. Oh, well. Okay, I don't know if bees come out of those trees or not. Okay, as you can see, there's two of these. Okay, now I'm going to go even slower because I think there's bees up here for sure. I hear them, but I don't see them. Okay. If he will come across, I will go. Oh, there's another one. There's like a... God. Okay. I kind of took so much time messing around there, We, I think I barely would have made it if I wouldn't have run into a bee. Uh, I'm staying on this cutscene. There's basically where you see professional. It looks like there's a string of like five or six that just go back and forth. Uh, so you really have to time that because I don't think you can sit and wait. There's not a big enough gap. And then it looks like these two uh, just go up and down at the top. Kind of like Candy Mountain look or something if you can follow them, but uh, that was three stars, 1739. Again, the only way to four star this is to actually complete it, you know. Uh, I think that was right at the brink of it. As you can see, I've only complete, completed it one time uh, with a time of 117.90, and we were right there. This is actually the second highest score I've ever had. Again, I don't play it often. Uh, two minutes, five calories. And uh, we're going to come back in and retry it. 
Uh, this time I won't be jacking around, I'll go a little quicker. Uh, I'm still going to proceed cautiously just because I haven't played it in a long time. And of course, the faster you go, the more likely you are to do something incredibly stupid. Uh, really, if there weren't bees in this game, I mean, I would have this thing... I would be very comfortable with it. Uh, where I have issues is with the bees. Uh, I mean, if you wonder why, just go watch my... You know, the Balance Games playthrough, you'll see. There are several different routes you can take through here. Uh, I think the quickest one is more this way. You know, that last time you saw me get into like a... Shit. A, a wall in a corner over there. Uh, 960 is not going to place. Don't really care about the time and calories because we didn't complete it. So. Ta -ta -ta. But I think when I was playing this, uh, you know, I kind of string like three or four together a couple times in a week when I'm getting into something. Uh, I feel like I had the route picked out. I wasn't going far to the left like I did that first time. I mean, I anything that gets you through is fine, but uh, I mean, I feel like the way I was going. Let me. Just go this way and see what happens. How big is this damn thing? <laughs> okay. And the good news is there's no bees until the very end, but it's still... Uh, I despise bees. Uh, they just make my life a nightmare. Okay, so there the idiots are, or the first one anyway. Oh god, you know, I may not complete this one uh, just because I'm already frustrated, <laughs> you know. And it's just one of those deals, I mean, like right here. Again, you can watch them going back and forth. There's nowhere to stop because they don't, there's no gap. It's not like, oh, well, you can fit your bubble perfectly between these two like you can at the top. Uh, the ones that go side to side, east, west, that's, that's not an option. And uh, that's a bit problematic. So I may do this all, uh, when I complete this one, whether I make it or not, I'll look at the time and then I'll maybe shoot for like, it's 15 minutes, and if I make it in 15 minutes, great, and if not, I mean, you know it's possible. Uh, the very first time I showed you the finish line, <laughs> you know, so just know that if you don't hit those two Bs, you'll be done, and uh, we'll call that good. I mean, if the whole thing was like this, I would, I would eat it up. I mean, I wish there was like an option to turn the Bs on and off. Each time I do this, I'll try to go a different route through here. And, uh, you know, then you can just kind of pick and choose what you think would be easiest. That is kind of a neat... Oh, <laughs> neat way they did that. Parts of this remind me of Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's like the kind of, I don't know, it looks yarnish, you know. It's a wonder I don't get hit there. Okay, so we're doing great time-wise. It's just you get up here and everything goes to pot. Okay, see like these two you can sit between. Now I'm going to sit between these two. Okay, now those two are the issue. By gosh, we did it. Okay, so that's a pretty awesome ending there. It's like gold coins and... Okay, it looks like uh, something from Willy Wonka. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have sat around as much that time. But uh, at the same time, we got through, so who really cares, you know? Uh, at least I can show you it is possible. And now you have the exact layout on the bees, as do I. Now me knowing what I know, I can come back and, 
you know, hopefully improve upon this at a later date and time. But uh, got a time of 129.68. That's a four-star champion ranking. Uh, realistically, I think anything that completes this, unless you're like probably under 30 seconds, is probably, you know, I mean, like almost out of time should four-star it. Uh, that's good for second place. I mean, you can see I probably spent 10 seconds just messing around at the end there. But uh, still, I don't care. I four-starred it, and we got through it. So I'm happy. You're happy. Uh, you know, play this. It's it's really fun. Uh, now we kind of get to hover back over in the background. You see the rainbow finish line. Uh, we're still in our bubble. And then you kind of see, like, gold coins and all kinds of crap. I guess it's the end of the rainbow or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, this one is not going to be a huge workout or anything. But it is fun. It is, uh, I don't know how it looks just watching it. But if you were to play through this, it is pretty challenging. Uh, but that does add to the, you know, makes it fun. It's not impossible, you know, or hellaciously difficult. But there's just enough difficulty that when you do complete it, you feel good about it. So, uh, I'll end it there. Uh, two minutes, four calories. That's reflective of completing it. You know, not at a blistering pace, probably at a moderate pace. So, I feel like the four calories is going to be pretty accurate. But, uh, that's it. That wraps up part 14 of our Wii Fit Plus Training Plus playthrough. Uh, that, of course, being Balance Bubble Plus. Uh, I will come in now, tomorrow, more than likely, and just finish up Basic Run Plus, and we will be done uh, with the entire playthrough. I'll still probably do the body test, and then, uh, you know, there's some of this stuff when I four-star, I'll record it, and uh, I'll probably brush up, you know, like on the uh, Island Cycling Free Ride, I'll start shooting for the record there, so it won't be the end of me uploading Wii Fit Plus stuff, but... Uh, this is a complete playthrough, or it will be a complete playthrough with commentary, blogged, with tips and tricks and insight, and basically more information than you would ever want. So, And if you ask questions, I'll answer. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> just my contribution to the community, I guess. But uh, if you do have questions or comments, you're welcome to ask here on YouTube or the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. Uh, just this past weekend, I did sign up on Twitter. I guess I did that a while back, but Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can follow me there, like me on Facebook, whatever works for you. And uh, like I said, this was, uh, you know, pretty fun, pretty challenging. Uh, you know, and it was nice to see a couple of things carried over from the original Wii Fit and improved upon. But uh, as always, I uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I will be back to wrap this up tomorrow night, and uh, we will catch you next time.